WTFNN. Headline News Update. And as we uh, come to the 2 o'clock update here on TFNN, we've had kind of a uh, fairly decent uh, reversal in the market. Uh, oh, I probably ought to pop that up so we can actually see it, and I'll update it too. But, uh, well, we had some uh, missiles land probably where they shouldn't have. Maybe, maybe not. You never know. Anyway, those missiles uh, landing in Poland is now, uh, since it's a uh, NATO ally, uh, the question is, uh, will this get out of hand and very quickly uh, over in uh, Europe? You never know what uh, a spark actually ends up uh, uh, creating, especially when there's so much dry tender around. Uh, but anyway, we had a... Uh, a market was, uh, I'm going to call it uh, running on fumes to begin with, and a lot of people probably may not agree with me. Uh, I'm going to show some charts in the next hour, and uh, we can uh, debate whether or not the market was weak or not. But for me, there were a ton of stocks. Uh, that were either testing gaps or previous highs on lighter volume. And I won't even get uh, a chance to get to a tenth of them today, but we'll go through as many as we can. In the meantime, yeah, uh, are we a little higher, uh, maybe three tenths of a percent higher in the S&P, but way off the highs. And the mar like I said, the market was fairly weak. Um, at least at these highs so far in the morning. We'll talk more about that. Uh, for options, uh, as many of you that listen to my show know, uh, I was talking to one of my subscribers this morning, and the problem is that uh, for options predictions for expiration on Friday, it's just a black hole. It's hard to know just how far down they are pointing, but maybe we get a little bit more clarity today or tomorrow. Be back in a minute for the show. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having